Oklahoma State will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Wildcats have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Tailback picks up a good-looking 10 yards on the draw. That'll make it second and inches. Run left side. Runs outside for a nice game. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. He's got an opening. They go to the left for a nice game. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. That makes it second and six. He's out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. First down. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He passes it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Kill, kill, kill! And he's taken down right around the 34. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one on one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. Taken down at the 43 yard line. Tackle for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Third down. From their own 39 yard line. Third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets it out to him again. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. Second and long. 
Ball on the 15 yard line. They bring the quarterback down. That's a it away and it's a great kick how about the coverage there just a great job there by the punt team to get downfield and make the play on the return man before he could get loose they've got to play with some focus and smarts here they don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing he might have a chance and he is drilled at the 48 at about the 37-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. hit before it can go anywhere. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That makes it second and 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 46. Red two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Go, go. Quick pass. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. That makes it third and seven. They come out in a five wide set. Let's it fly. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. converts the extra point. So a seven play, 61 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. And off, and he's met immediately. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 21. Brought down at the 22-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Oh. 
Fourth and long here after the sack. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Cowboys. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. <laughs> Booming kick. <laughs> so he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma State is up a score. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Receivers got the first down, and they make the stop, the 39-yard line. And he's leveled at the 44-yard line. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Second and 15, ball on the 44-yard line. Red two, Fires that quickly, incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Red two, green. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. He's tackled at the 22. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Fires over the middle. Touchdown. He gives them another score, his second in the passing game. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game, it usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 52-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now, 14-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He airs it out. And this one's broken up. Alert read on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 42. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That can be just enough time for the quarterback. And he has it on the corner. Makes it out to about the 46. That's good for a That makes it first and 10. A 
the middle for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. Tight right, tight right. That brings him second and five. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That makes it second and six. And he throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw. They'll get him for a loss. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Check four. Dancer, dancer. Blue four. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They'll line it up again on third down. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Here we go, here we go. That's a great tackle at the 49. Another sack. This guy's got experience. It'll take an awful lot to unsettle him. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Now he's scrambling, tries to get around the corner, brought down in the open field. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. hit immediately not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that hey. scrambling around he's at the 40. Oh. Right 
He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Gives it to the back. We've played a half of football here. Oklahoma State's in front by 11. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The Cowboys have the lead at the half, and they have all the momentum in the world on their side. Everything has gone their direction. But, David, you've played a lot of ball. Have you ever been in a situation where you had everything going your way then halftime comes, and for some reason it all changed in the second half. Uh, unfortunately, yes, Reese. <laughs> You've been in a situation where it seems like nothing you could do was wrong. Every, you had the answer to every question that was asked. And then in the second half, it seems like the coaches start asking different questions on the other side of the field, and you might not be as ready for it. So you got to make sure that you take the momentum and make sure that you take advantage of it because things change quickly, and if you get on the wrong side of it, sometimes you just can't stop it. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Paula can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Easy, easy. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. There's a strike complete. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 38. Him hard at the 29. That brings up second and one. Jump, jump. They'll bring him down right around the 26 yard line. From the 26 yard line, it's first down. Run and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Three, nine. Throws it in a hurry. And they got him for a loss. Receiver and he dropped it. Fourth down. 
So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up, and it's good. Oklahoma State to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Let's go! Complete. He's got room. Tackle around the 33-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Gaining two yards. First down. All right, let's All right, Has some daylight. Makes it out to about the 49. Gaining 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, they're scared. They're scared. Check, check. Oklahoma. Knocked out of bounds at the 38. The catch. Call it a game of 13 yards. First down. Out of bounds at the 28. From the 28 yard line. First down. Down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. He's at the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Northwestern! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Oklahoma State up seven points. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That is a loss of four yards. Third and nine. Ball on the 26. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Green nine, green nine. Go. Blue 20. Go. Slings it. Brought down at the 42 yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Blue 20. 
Throws it deep. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Fires out to his wideout. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. Oklahoma State is up seven. Touchdown, Cowboys. And he adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 24-10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Gain of 18 yards. Man, four down, four down. I got two. I got two. 45 the mic. He might not be able to get the pass off. Lost the ball. Fumble. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. After a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. And he's tackled at about the 35. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and nine. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Oklahoma State's in front by 14. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Tight on left, tight on left. Four down, four down. Hey, watch number five, number five. Six, cut. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive first night. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes. Right around the 28-yard line. Number 42 makes the set up at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's at the 20. He makes his way out to about the 12. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. On the ground with the tailback. Touchdown, Wildcats! He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. North 
Western is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Oklahoma State is up by a touchdown. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a deep he might have a chance. Gets out to around the 45. He steps out the 37 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds around the 28-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Brought down inside the five. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. While the offenses are winning today, each coordinator has got to be beaming that they're coming away with points virtually on every drive. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Scrambling around. Dives forward. Tries to buy some time. They bring him down. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 39. He scrambled, and he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Gain of five yards. Third down. Less than three minutes in the game. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 41. He's on the run. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Oh, 
Chiefs. Chiefs. That'll, bring That'll bring up, up second, second and three. three. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He steps up, scrambling around. Tackle at the two-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Blue 14! Blue 14! Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Runs right for a nice game. Northwestern's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He gets to about the 41-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The Wildcats using their third and final timeout. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Red two. Green eight. Again with the run. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 31-17. Cowboys. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.